Welcome to English 100 Critical Reading and Writing Online. So this is the first uh, lecture that we have for this course and in this lecture I'm just going to basically walk you through the syllabus and we'll talk a little bit about what to expect um, from this course. Um, so let's start with a basic description of what we are doing uh, in an English 100 class. So this course focuses on reading and writing on the primacy of language informing our ideas about the world and the role of literature in thinking, interpreting, and communicating. So this course is linking the reading of literature to the study and practice of writing and also to the tools of critical analysis. In this course we will be reading works written by men and women in a variety of genres from early modern times to the present. So we are covering a lot of material, a lot of texts, and a lot of different genres, um, so it's up to you to keep up to date with the reading schedule and uh, make sure you're doing everything you can to keep um, on top of your weekly reading and writing. So let's start by looking at some of the goals or objectives that we have um, over the course of this term, what I want you to be able to achieve by the end of the term. Uh, so the first thing I want you to be able to write uh, short formal essays that have a minimal amount of surface errors and by surface errors I just mean uh, grammar it should have correct appropriate grammar uh, for a formal essay so you'll be doing a lot of writing short writing uh, assignments over the course of the term and the next uh, objective is to work collaboratively with one another. Uh, you'll be interacting with me, uh, your instructor, but you'll also be interacting with one another using the online course homepage. Uh, we'll be using discussion boards and um, wiki pages, but I'll talk about all those later on uh, in today's lecture. And you should also be able to read basic university level fiction and nonfiction texts and to comment critically on their meaning and structure. So we'll be talking a lot about uh, different kinds of texts, fiction and nonfiction, as well as poetry. And you should be able to sort of comment critically and you'll uh, gain more confidence as we go along in your uh, interpreting of literature. And then finally, the last objective is to summarize, paraphrase, and quote from other sources. So this is again using textual evidence in your writing uh, through quotations and paraphrase and doing that uh, in a way that conforms to the university MLA style. Uh, so we'll talk about that a little later as well. So first things first, let me introduce myself. I am your instructor. My name is Justine Jenny. You guys can just uh, call me Justine, it's fine. Um, I'm from Regina originally, but I'm currently living in Saskatoon. And my, I'll just tell you a little bit about my educational background and interests. Uh, so I have a BA and an MA from University of Regina and a PhD from the University of Saskatchewan. And my areas of study, I mostly focus on contemporary literature, although I read from, I like, you know, literature from all across time. And my interests are usually gender studies, so I like looking at, you know, representations of masculinity and femininity in literature, and sort of deconstructing those roles and norms. Um, so we'll do a little bit of that when we are looking at some short stories next week. And then I'm also interested in sort of themes or ideas related to trauma and recovery. Uh, some of the texts that we'll uh, discuss this term deal with sort of traumatic moments like uh, traumatic events like the Holocaust. Um, we also are doing a war narrative called The Wars, uh, where trauma is very much part of the narrative. Uh, so those texts are some of my favorites as well. And I'm going to ask you guys to share a little bit about yourself, so I thought I would do the same. So here are some personal details about myself. So my hobbies and interests, I like cooking. Um, food blogging is another one of my hobbies. 
uh, painting and swimming. Those are the main interests. Um, favorite TV shows, favorite books and authors. Um, favorite TV shows? Well, I watch a lot of Netflix. Right now we're watching Portlandia, Bob's Burgers. I'm a big Breaking Bad fan. Uh, True Detective was another one of my favorites in recent watching history. And then favorite books and authors? Well, right now I uh, I'm really into graphic novels and Art Spiegelman's Mouse is one of my favorites and I feel, you know, I always share it with all my students whenever I can so I'm really happy that we'll be looking at Art Spiegelman's Mouse, the graphic novel, this term. Other than that, I like, you know, gothic literature, sort of horror uh, and all types of literature. It's hard for an English major to narrow it down. Um, so for this course uh, I will be available again. I'm in Saskatoon, but you can contact me through my email, and I've given two email addresses there. Uh, so anytime uh, I can respond to your emails, probably within uh, 12 to 24 hours, I should get back to you. Other than that, I think I'm going to try to do a live chat uh, where through the course homepage weekly. So Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 10 a.m. I'm going to try and log in and if you uh, want to get a hold of me uh, we can do a sort of live chat. So that's going to be something we'll try uh, this term. And if those hours aren't um, available or again we'll see how it goes and maybe I'll change my hours to be more convenient for uh, to see if students are responding to that live chat. Okay, so let's start looking at how your mark is going to be uh, evaluated. So we have four major writing assignments. So you have four major writing assignments. The first one is going to be on a short story that we read. So you'll have a choice of questions and topics and you'll pick one short story to analyze and this essay is going to be uh, two to three pages and it's due uh, May 18th and all of our assignments are due uh, on Sunday by midnight and it's worth 10%. Um, so that's your first one and then writing assignment number two is going to be on the graphic novel Mouse that's also worth 10% and writing assignment number three will be a poetry analysis and I'll give you more explicit instructions on how to do that later on uh, that's also worth 10% and then you have your last essay which is going to be on either the novel The Wars or Shawshank Redemption and that will be a little more writing so thousand words and worth 15% so because this is not a face-to-face -face class, this is an online class, we are going to do uh, some interacting peer work uh, online and there's two ways that we're going to do that through discussion forums and through course wiki pages. So the discussion forums, this is an online uh, discussion amongst your uh, classmates and you are expected to sort of actively participate and contribute to these discussion forums and it's um, indicated on your syllabus that uh, you will make initial comments so usually I'll post a topic and then you'll give your initial comments by Thursday at 8 p.m. and this is where you're sort of giving a uh, considered critical uh, point of view or interpretation on the question and responding to that week's discussion forum topic. And then you're going to again uh, for a second time that week also respond to the feedback and responses of your classmates and offer another sort of response to one of their comments so those will also be due on Saturdays by 8 p.m. So in these forums you are expected to uh, respond in a way that 
uh, res is respectful to your peers. So again, this isn't about criticizing other people's ideas. It's about sort of contributing to an online conversation. And it would be similar to sort of group work um, or um, the sort of interaction in online or in a classroom discussion that happens online. So you are expected to be very sort of respectful of your peers and courteous and your posting should be sort of clear and concise. It's not just about how long your post is, it's about sort of the meaning and uh, writing with purpose. So you should uh, offer a response that is meaningful, uh, critical, and valid um, opinion on that week's topic. So that will be each forum, uh, it will change weekly. So depending on our unit of study, the first one will be about uh, the short stories and you're going to be uh, responding to one another's um, feedback or your comments in the discussion forums. So it's another way to stimulate uh, in-class discussion, right? But this time it's online class discussion. The next uh, online interactive activity that I'll discuss is the note-taking wiki pages. So you will be assigned groups at the start of the term and in these groups you will uh, contribute to these ongoing uh, group wiki pages and on these wiki pages uh, you are again asked to add information. So note taking wiki pages are again designed as a guide to help in your understanding of the texts. And these wiki pages are structured activities that ask you to do a close reading of each text. You'll be asked to identify key passages and literary devices to provide interpretations and your opinions, as well as comment on specific uh, quotations or meanings of the text. So these wiki pages are collaborative. Uh, each group member will sort of contribute to them and you'll build on them over the course of the term. And again, these can be used as a very helpful resource while you're writing your papers. So you can go back to the note-taking wiki pages and then use them as a resource to help you study or help you write essays and come up with ideas for when you're writing. Uh, so these are, again, a document that you are going to be collaborating on with your groups and I'll ask you specific things in the wiki pages and you'll you'll fill out those um, pages online and then finally there's going to be a sort of comprehensive final exam that's worth 30 percent of your mark uh, that will happen on June 24th and it'll be comprehensive so it's on all the material covered within the course so our course texts, we have quite a few texts in this, in this course. Um, many of them can be found online, so that's another thing I want to draw your attention to uh, in case you are, um, you know, you don't want to purchase the books. Um, the first book that we'll be taking stories from is the Broadview Anthology of Short Fiction. And uh, the short stories that we're covering can all be found online as well, but it is nice to have the Broadview Anthology where they're all collected. Uh, you also get sort of author um, background information on each of the authors, as well as a glossary of terms in that book. So it is a helpful resource, but you can find each separate story online. Uh, the next text that we're doing is Art Spiegelman's Mouse, which is a graphic novel. Um, you can either buy the complete mouse, which collects books one and two together, or buy them sort of um, uh, separately or in a box set. And then we're doing Stephen King's Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption, which is a novella. It's about 100 pages or so, and it's in a book called Different Seasons. So there's four novellas in different seasons. We're just taking the first one, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. That is also available online. Uh, you can find a copy on the internet. 
And then the novel that we're going to do is Timothy Finley's The Wars. That one you'll have to buy. I haven't seen any versions of that online.